All right, all right, all right. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Omni Pro, and right now you are watching the Pro Show. I got my brother here. I'm talking about my blood brother, my biological, my flesh right here in the flesh. Philly Bob right here. Say what's up to the YouTube people, Philly. What's up, people? How you doing out there? That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, you know, you know, I, a little bit about my brother. You know what I mean? Well, he is my brother, so <laughs> I knew my brother when I was a little kid. You know, my brother was a, a hustler. Uh, he was in them streets hard out there, out, out, out the Northview area. You know, people that know him, you know. Can I, can I? Yeah, if you didn't know me, know, you know what I'm saying? But them was the days when I was the bad guy. Yeah. Now the transformer to the new guy. Right. Like, yeah, bro was out there making things happen, as he said, as the bad guy. Uh, I, won't, I won't go too much into that, but, you know, I always looked up to my brother um, being being young. I didn't really have any friends growing up, you know, and see my, my brother, it was like my only best friend, really, because that's, that's who I could relate to, you know what I mean? And to know that, oh, I had a big brother, you know what I mean? I didn't really see him as much because he was he, he was doing he, he was doing him. He was ripping and running, but I still, nevertheless, always wanted to be around him. And I couldn't really be around him. My mother wouldn't let me be around him because of the things he was doing in the street. You know, whether it be hustling or you know, trapping or or well, whatever it is that the streets. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know that you know, got them street niggas like that. You know, getting themselves. You know. What they do, but my mom didn't want me to be around that, so and, and I would try to push still to to be around bro because I know you know I knew he I had a spot in his life, you know what I mean, even though he was doing his thing, he was making his bread or whatever, I knew I had a spot in his life, you know what I mean, and I wanted just to experience my brother it, it took me nearly to when I became a man to really connect with my brother to really understand my brother and, and you know and, and just understand life a little bit better you know what I mean um some things about my brother is he is real passionate he has real passion you know what I mean he has purpose you know he is purpose driven he has a business mind you know I, I think the street it's safe to say that the streets taught you yeah, it's you safe know to say that you know what I'm saying the streets brought me into the um, entrepreneurship, you know what I'm saying, that I have. Right. Into the um, business mind of being a boss, you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, I'm very, you know, I'm, I'm very motivated to being self-made, you know what I'm saying? Like, taking care of me and mine and anybody that's in my circle, you know? Right. right. It's like, you know, the streets had groomed me to become, you know, slash businessman, you know, which, you know, I say slash because, you know, a hustler too. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was a hustler first. And, you know, then I had to transform the hustle into legitimate finances. Right. By any means. Right. Which is which is turned into the entrepreneur entrepreneurship. Right. Yeah. So, you know, it ain't hard, you know, it's life though, you get it how you live, you know. That's how I do. And um and now, instead of doing all the negative things that I used to do, you know, to get it, now I try to use that same energy into some things positive. Right. Because the same energy that you put in to do negative things to be, you know, to be, I guess you could say, successful in what you're doing, right. you, can be, you can be as well successful doing positive things, right. you know, financially, spiritually, and um, you know, just trying to find yourself. Also, I want to say real quick that my brother is very spiritual, has a strong spiritual foundation. You know what I mean? Very, very spiritual. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, we have built, we have built spiritually. Um, we had talked a lot about business. You know, owning our own businesses. We had talked about different ventures, like uh, like you know, you know, like like the business that is hand. You know what I'm saying? That's one of my favorite passions that I found out through, you know, my faith that God gave me the passion to be able to cut hair, you know? And I'm pretty I'm pretty good at it. 
You know, I done been to school, Wars Corner Beauty Academy. Shout out to Wars Corner Beauty Academy. Empire. Yeah, shout out to Empire too. Empire over yeah. there, you know, that's a beauty academy also, you yeah. know. And um, I've been a part of that and I learned a lot from that. And also just from my friends and family, just raised up, just cutting their heads and, you know, taking that little, little trade I had and turning it into a, a showing up business. I've been managing two barbershops in the last few years, you right. know. Right. Um, shout out to um, Legends Barber House over there on 26th Street. You know what I'm saying? There's a gang of guys over there that's doing their thing. You need to stop by and check them out. Right. Also, I, also, the new venture that, you know what I'm saying, that's going on, that's linked to the Legends Barber House is the Hair Connoisseur okay. on 12th Bay Out Ocean View. Shout out to Hair Connoisseur. Yeah, I've been a part of that also. And, um, it can be successful if you put your heart in it. You know what I'm saying? And I see my heart because that's how passionate I am about it. But I'm also passionate about a few other things, you know, that's, you know, part of my entrepreneurship. Anything that I do, I like put my heart in it to be the best. Right. You know, and, you know, and I'm kind of bossy. So, you know, you know, I'm a, like a tough customer to deal with, you know, as far as um, a boss go or, or as a as an employee to even be boss, right? You know, it's interesting. Not, That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, that is interesting because because I you know I can take constructive criticism as well as give it, right? But I might react to it in one manner, but once I sit back and let my thoughts be to me, then you know I can get in compliance to with whatever needs to be done to be successful, whether it's on my end or whoever's involved with it with me. Right. I, I also understand, bro, that you are, uh, that you have skill in, in auto mechanic. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, growing up, you know what I'm saying, in the ranks, right, you know, being a bad boy, you know, um, you know, I got a couple of, um, I got a couple of trades from the, you know, juvenile institution. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So so you, you were institutionalized at one time. Yeah, you know okay. what I'm saying? That's safe to say. Okay. I was um down. Right. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? As the guy said, I've been down before. Right. You know, and um it ain't nothing to brag about, but it's kinda like built me into the you know, part of my character, you know, and um when I was down in the juvie, you know, I I I retained a sheet metal trade and a um auto mechanic trade. Right. As well as the barber trade, you know, okay, okay. and um, come to find out barbering is a passion of mine. That's something that God gave me to do that I'll do for free. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we got to make a living out here. Yeah. But I do do a lot free because that's what I love to do. So if somebody need a cut and, you know what I'm saying, they doing bad, I bless them. Just like the Lord bless me. And, and my brother has a great heart like that with, with dealing with people. He... He pay his dues, no no matter what you know. If 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 he if he got it, you know what I mean. He, like you say, he gonna make sure he take care of his business. But most of the time, I can honestly say that my brother helps a lot of people. You know what I mean. He's a he's a he's a he's a present help. Um, yeah, man, you gotta spread the love. You know what I'm saying. When you get blessed, you know what I'm saying. You don't you don't, you don't just hold on to it. You know what I'm saying. You gotta pass the blessings on. You know what I'm saying. That's how the world should be able to go around why why I'm blessed, then you can be blessed. You can be blessed, the next one can be blessed. Yeah. You know, blessings just don't supposed to stop. You know what I'm saying? You don't supposed to get the blessings and try to just hold on to it, you know? Right. You know, you just you know, you gotta spread the love. I, I enjoy you know, this interview bro, you know what I'm saying? Is is I'm always excited to see you, you know what I mean? Because you're always on the go. You, you know yeah. what I mean? You in go mode 24-7, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you you don't stop, you know what yeah. I mean? Very I mean, consistent, you know what I mean? mean? I mean, I feel honored to be on the pro show, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm proud of you too, bro. Yes, and, um, I, you know, maybe next time, right, but we can have an interview and I'll be more loose and more, you know what I'm saying, complacent, you know what I'm saying? Then, then I am kind of feeling like uptight and moody at the moment, you know what I'm saying? But... You know, that's how I live, you know. I you know what I'm saying I go through those changes just like everybody else. But um right. I still stay focused and you know 
and I bounce back, you know, and you know, I can put on a smile, I can put on a happy face, and I'll go out here and just make it right, you know? I like that about you, bro. I love that about you, man, you know. Shout out to the DeMary family, you know what I mean? That's 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 my family, oh, no. that's our family, you already know. We in here, you know what I mean? We doing it, you know, all my family on Facebook. That's blood. You already know what it is, man. We, <laughs> it's like that. Um, bro, I wanna- Failure I, is not an option. <laughs> know that. You got the need to succeed. You gotta know that. Um, I wanna ask you a quick question, bro, cause you know, you won't, you won't expect this, but you know, this is the pro show. That's so, right. uh, bro, Take how's life. your love life, man? Is it any special young, uh, special lady in your life? A lucky, oh, yeah. lucky oh, yeah. lady in your oh, life? Yeah, man. You know, I just recently married, you know what I'm saying? The love of my life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Which is your sister-in-law, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Miss, right. You that's know, right. BJ DeMary. Shout out to Miss Billy. You already yeah. know what it is. I <laughs> yeah. mean, Miss BJ, you already yeah. know. You BK. Know yeah. You know what I'm that's, but that's, that's my baby, that's my love, that's my bot bone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She made all things possible for me on this round, you know? Word, word. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You got to have that, you know what I'm saying, that ride or die. You know what I'm saying? Tell them, bro. If you got that ride or die behind you, boy, when you find that one, boy, you hold on to it, boy, you'll never let it go. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? She can do you right. Like that. I like that. That's that's what YouTube need to hear. They need to hear stuff like what you just, yeah. that's, I like that. Oh, uh, bro, we gonna go ahead and, and wrap it up. So, you know what I mean? Since, you know, like I said, I'm glad that you, you came out, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to go ahead and make your shout outs. Any social links you wanna drop or any inspirational words that you wanna give out to you two, you got 30 seconds, bro, go. All right, man, I wanna give a shout out to the legend Barber House, the, the hair connoisseur. I wanna shout out to my baby BJ, I love you, girl. And uh, all those that know me, I'm AKA Philip Bob. You know what I'm saying? Holler back at me, 757-323-1925. If you need a fresh cut or you're trying to just, you know what I'm saying? Just build on being belt. Holler at your boy. All right, this, this, this concludes the pro show. And you know, like I said, remember the four L's. Live, love, learn, and laugh. Peace.